this is such an open space. Incoming boss fight! It connects to A sector. This is the junction that Tia was talking about. See, so this area is where the spirit veins converge. Then that means... There's a terminal. Let's contact Tia. Okay then, Anissa. Please operate the terminal. Yes, understood. Do you want to talk about the orbital network and something that was mentioned in um, Azure? Aeon system, activate. Accessing phase space. Deploying avatar. If it shows, it might be relevant. Where? This is... No, oh, I forgot that. That worked well. Can you see me? T Tio! I can't be a mirage spell, right? <laughs> I use the Eon system to project my mental image. The visual is created by using state-of-the-art image data. It's one of the most advanced technologies we're working on right now. Wow. Yeah, this is amazing. I don't know how it works, but from the looks of it, it sure is amazing. You're achieving things only Vita and... Grianus could do. <laughs> At this rate, we won't need witches for much longer. Anyway, I should be able to help Emma out now. Let's get started. Yes, understood. Whoa. This is connected to the entire underground. Yes, I can feel the movement of each and every spirit vein in Crossbell. Eon connection complete. Continue the wide area search. Be on the lookout for a large amount of mana. Please, try to find it. Yes, will do. The fact the two sort of... I want to call them systems. Like, the spirit veins and the orbital network can combine, essentially, is what's going on here. This is going well so far. Yes, let's leave everything to Emma and Tio. Yeah, let's just wait here. This presence. Monsters appear. Who's messing about in my house? Huh? That's... I'm gonna chop you, mate. I'm Zelshine. Gonna jab you. And slice and dice you. A magic knight. This one's different from the one I saw yesterday. At a time like this. Everyone? If we stop the search now, the data will be compromised. Don't let it get in the way. This is the end of the line for it. Celine? I get it, fine. You can use it once, that's all I can guarantee, okay? That's all I need. Let's go, Elisa. Machias. Right, Roger Lloyd. Yeah. This one's strong! Be careful! It's like, eh, 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 damn it. <laughs> I wanted to try and get that crit. It's like, damn. My blade. Queen, yeah. That's so what I'm water. thinking, like, sort of, like, theory-wise, is that sort of thing of, like, now. maybe the spirit veins aren't spirit veins in the, like, they're not, like, ley lines. They're not <laughs> magical entities. Maybe they're the remnants Seven of slash. a... Worldwide network, like the Orbital Network, from the past. Maybe it's that's what actually turn. is going on there, it's just... Oh, I don't absolute reflect what I've got. Yeah, may maybe that's what that it's is. Because it was mentioned. Break through! In Azure, like, uh, where was it me. mentioned? I someone find that, where it was mentioned, like, it's like... It was very reminiscent of the Orbital Network. There's something similar about and everything going on that was very, very similar to the Orbital Network. Now's our chance. And like, An that's what I'm starting to think now. Maybe, maybe all that type of stuff, like spirit veins and orbital energy, it's actually essentially just the internet, but the internet from me. like before the Great Collapse. Breakthrough! 
if that makes sense to anyone. And may maybe what all this, like, orbital power, orbital energy, all that type of stuff is, it's is actually turn. just information. I'm gonna wait for the crit coming up on that. It's down! It's mine! My turn. Hmm. It's to Iron Will. Form up! Iron Will formation! I'm looking at that zero right Leave there coming me. up for us. Light! Shine over us all! Nice, nice, nice as a result. Take this! Thank you! Let's go! Alright. Aeon Shield! E a a Aeon Shield! Nice. Nice. Alright, so now. Oh, I was gonna say, I wanna switch over. Um. So now I'm thinking Spirit Unification. Uh, spirit Unification! Let's go! Ha! Leave it to me! Let's use that up. Yeah. Thanks! My turn! Okay, so... Let's go! Radical design! Radical design. Yes! My blade, calm as still water. I'm wait to see what happens here. Now! Yeah, it's just, just that idea in my head, just sort of like coming through this now, like... Maybe it is just... Seven Information is energy. I don't know how to describe it beyond that. It's like... Yes! I really don't know how to describe it to you, like, what I mean. You won't get away! What's the best way of putting what I mean? Molten storm! I was hoping to get, like, it... They can't use any skills or anything, yes. so that's something. Petrifying shells loaded! You're not going anywhere! Good. It's my turn! It is, isn't it? So let's actually change stuff up here. Let's go! Raging fire formation! It's my turn! Let's throw these out while we can. Now! Let's go, Elisa! Elisa! Got it! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how to describe what I mean in terms of like information is energy is really difficult to explain. It's all like, we know like our world works you failed your on a way of like mathematics and stuff like that. Like you have an idea of how that works. This is the end? Like you can Just describe everything in the universe via mathematics. And mathematics is information essentially. So like what if information is, is a way of weapon. like adjusting this world, and that's what magic is in this world. That's what orbital energy is. That's what mana is. Take this. So maybe like the orbital network Gabriel is the start Arrow. of spirit veins being created Repent for your again, sins. essentially. I was hoping to have you done. Damn it. Yeah, because you'll do that bloody enhance, won't you? That's annoying. So now you're done. Let's go. Crimson Slash. Let's go. See, it's like I uh, just, just damn it. Form up. Iron Will. I was hoping to have it done. Let's go. I thought that was gonna go my way, but it didn't. Arcus, activate. Should be alright. Just annoying. What are your thoughts there, though? That's what I want to know. What are your thoughts on that idea that... Yes! The Septium Veins could be like an old... Arcus activate. Orbital network. Okay, keep an eye on everyone's health there. Good luck! Thanks! Try and impede if we can. Leave it to me! Break through! Yeah! Let's keep an eye on the impeding, we should be alright. I'm up. I could do spirit unification again, but impeding probably more important. My turn. Have impede, please. 
just keep throwing out those MPs. Ah, damn it. Good, we'll throw out that. <laughs> that was lucky. My blade, calm as still water. That should get it though, surely. Now! At least get it into break at least. But yeah, I think there might be something there. It's just this element of like we're combining like Tio's powers essentially with Emma's powers, and they are very similar. Like they're accessing the two systems separately and differently. Yes! But still very, Break very through. similar. Very similar. Yes! Yes! That was enough. <laughs> Good. I was too focused on talking to you guys about that idea to really properly do that. I think it's important to get the ideas yeah. out more. Let's keep going. Bum, bum, bum. All right, got it. <laughs> we did it. We did. <laughs> I did it. Oh, just you. Hmm. I see. <sighs> I did it. Green. Uh. To you. <laughs> You're back to normal. What a relief. Just push yourself too much. Sorry for worrying you. And thanks, Lean. You know, I'm glad it went well. I found it. Emma, you keep concentrating. I'll convert the data. It's weird there was just the music for that little bit. Hey. Emma? Tia? I got it. And I finished converting the data. Thank you, everyone. Nice. Ah, oh, we did it. Emma, good work. <laughs> it's all thanks to your support. But that Eon system, it's truly an amazing piece of technology. The combination of magic and technology really is amazing. Yeah. Glad it could help. Please leave the coordinate analysis to me. I'll send it along with the map info. So you can return to the support department for now. Alright, understood. Thank you so much for your help. I should be thanking you. Now then, off I go. Well, let's return to the support department then. Yeah, let's be careful too. Yeah, that was it. Like, all right then. A street entrance. If we're going to go back to the special support section, let's take the back door. Yes, that would be a good shortcut. Let's go back early and wait for Tio to call. Hey! You're Yuna's teacher! Oh! You two. Kind of nana, right? Huh? Where's Sis? Got an alley on here, either. Who's this weird old glasses guy? Weird old glasses guy. Wow, you're both so pretty. What are your names? <laughs> so cute. My name's Elisa, and her name is Emma. <laughs> Do you know these children, Ree? Yeah, they're Yuna's twin siblings. I see. The head does look just like hers. Oh, it's a cat. Hey, uh, I mean, meow. Never seen you here before. You got such pretty fur. Cute. It's just as cute as Mishi or Kagimaru. Yo, man. Ah, cut it out. <laughs> just play with them for a little bit at least. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Yeah, yeah. I gotta ask about that. Do you guys know the Ashen Chevalier? He rides this really big, cool toy. Um... Mm, we do happen to know him. <laughs> what did you want to ask about him? Uh, um, uh... We wanted to say thank you to him. He saved our lives. Huh? Saved your lives? Yeah, last year! When Calvert attacked, he saved us. We fell out of the car, but he used his big toy to protect us. Yuna was with us when it happened!
Oh, I thought I was going to do the flashback there, but all right. I was like waiting for the flashback, but like, ah, there you go, you see it all revealed now. Yuna, you should at least eat some breakfast. It's rice porridge. I brought you some porridge Sandy made. <sighs> well, we think it's rice. Louise and Jessica are worried too. And not just them. The entire branch campus is concerned for you. Ourselves included, of course. Why? Why didn't you two go with Instructor Rain? Didn't you want to go? Of course we did, but... We didn't think it was right to leave you behind. <laughs> you may already be aware, but I was originally meant to attend the main campus. I would follow the same path as the other members of the Vander family in serving the Imperial family. I never once doubted that I would one day be given the honor of being appointed aide to Prince Cedric. However, last fall, the government suddenly decided to relieve the Vander family of its duties. There's Mueller there. The honor of protecting the royal family should not be monopolized by the nobility, they claimed. My brother was then shipped off to the outskirts, my father and uncle buried in military busywork, and I suddenly found my life's purpose gone. And so I made a rash decision and switched to the branch campus at the last minute. <sighs> Kurt. To be perfectly honest, I barely knew a thing about Crossbell before this trip. At first, I thought being annexed into such a powerful country as Erebonia would be a relief to Crossbell citizens. However, pride in one's home isn't that simple. Compared to the helplessness you and the people of Crossbell must feel, my troubles seem like nothing. Once I realized that, I decided I couldn't leave you here alone. I have trouble understanding why you're feeling like this, Yuna. I never had a hometown, nor was I born from biological parents. I suspect I was created so as to experience as little emotion as possible. What? <laughs> but hearing you last night, I experienced a strange feeling in my chest. Then, Instructor Reen asked if I was okay leaving you here alone, and that is the reason I am still here. <sighs> Allie. I... Unlike you two, I don't have a good reason for staying behind. I know what I should do. I mean, to be fair, you do have a good reason. It's essentially... Depression. Regardless of what's going on, I just need to grit my teeth and keep moving. I know that, but... My reason... It's just my own selfishness. No. Completely understandable. According to the analyzed action pattern, the coordinates are 125.73 slash 89.15. Thank you, Tio. Click, click. And this is the place. Southwest of Crossbell, just beyond our camp. Hmm, is this? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Emma, you know about this too? There are a lot of places in Crossbell that have been imprinted with high concentrations of mana. Temple in the northwest, or battlefields to the northeast. Wetlands near the lake to the south. There are more, but those were the ones I was planning to go to. There are that many. This land maintains its connections to the past. Not to mention it was connected to the Azure Tree that appeared a year and a half ago. The coordinates indicate Stargazer's Tower. It was one of the areas that held rituals to bring about the fake miracles. According to the log I took earlier, mana has been sharply increasing. Thank you. That should be all we need to know. I'm approaching the home stretch. Let's make sure we're prepared. Yes, two enforcers are waiting to oppose us. I'm sure the new Class 7 and the other students will help out, but... But we, the old Class 7, need to be the ones to break through. 
Yes. Ah, oh, nothing lights a fire in my breast quite like courage in the face of insurmountable odds. I shall join you on this quest of yours. Gladly. Huh? What? Could it be? Are you? The famous traveling bard! Olivia Lenheim! Prince Oliver? What? Where? See? It is a pleasure to see you once more, my dear Tio. Also, I'll have you take care to say my name properly. I am the drifting poet and seeker of love, Olivier. You wouldn't do for passerby to mistake me for the famed debaucherous Prince of Erebonia, <laughs> now would it? I mean, there are similarities, I'll give you that, but no, completely different. I mean, you got a different coat. Yeah, that's not gonna fly. Isn't that the name you used when you went to Le Pearl four years ago? Would the inspection team notice you're not there? <laughs> oh, they're far more preoccupied with Alfin at the moment. That naughty debaucherous prince has gone off on his own to play with Mishy in the theme park. Mishy, shishy, shishy. A bit of thought though it may be, I've benefited from the absence of a certain constantly fretting bodyguard this time. Prince. But the royal family is... Ah, uh, but it is because I am a member of the royal family that I must do this. You see, my position prevents me from speaking out on behalf of Crossbell. Thus, I have no other choice but to turn to action this day. Otherwise, I would not be able to face the people of Crossbell I have come to know and love. Upon my telling this to Alfin, she could do little but sigh and agree to my escape scheme. I also come bearing a message from Elise Turin. She wishes you well and says to stay safe. I see. Guess after hearing all that, there's no way we can say no. Thank you, Prince Oliver. Class 7 as well. On behalf of Randy, Ellie, and Lloyd. Roger. Please protect Crossbell from this disaster looming over it. Yes! Yeah! Alright. Bloody hell. Calm down. A year and a half ago, the Empire took over Crossbell without any bloodshed. Of course, Calvert wasn't about to let that stand. Their military strength is about even with Erebonia's. Calvert's armored aviation divisions are full of highly mobile tanks and gunships. They invaded Crossbell to try and drive out the Imperial Army. The Imperial Army held them off with their Panzer Soldats, but during the first few battles, there were a number of gunships that broke through the front lines. Because the occupation was so sudden, most of the citizens were in a panic. Most people fled the city, hoping they'd be away from the fighting in rural towns or remote mining villages. We had the same idea and tried to at least get Ken and Nana to safety in Armorica village. Amerika. I had just gotten back from the police academy and got an acquaintance to help drive us to the village. That's when it happened. On the way there, we encountered a Calbardian gunship. It was hit by Imperial fire, and I'm sure the pilot started to panic. It started firing at us, even though we were clearly not a military transport. Our driver tried to maneuver around it, but the vehicle took a hit and we were all thrown out of it. It was... Frustrating. I felt so powerless. All my training at the police academy didn't help one bit. I mean, how could it? It's a gunship. I threw myself on top of Ken and Nana, swearing I'd make sure at least they survived. And then... A grey shadow swooped down on us. It looked like a giant statue of a knight had come to life. With one swing of its sword, it cut off the gunship's rotor, letting it land a ways away. And just like that, we were saved. 
Are you all right? Is anyone injured? I heard the voice of a young man coming from inside the giant knight. I found out later. That was the first official mission of the man now known as the Ashen Chevalier. Now, Pri uh, I mean, Olivier. Pleased to meet you. Hmm, likewise. Oh, I love this outfit. It grants me so much freedom. In fact, I feel so free, I might just throw an impromptu concert at the theater in the entertainment district. Maybe let's save that for next time. Is that the theater Arkansas performed at? That's right, but alas, ever since the lead actress was injured, there hasn't been a proper performance there. Again? How did I forget all this? That's what I find fascinating. It's like, I think it's, I think it would have been a problem had I gone, say, Cold Steel 3 to Azure, not to Azure, but to Crossbow, to Zero and Azure. Then I would have remembered more. I think it's going back to Sky. That time we spent in those three games made me just forget everything over time. And it's like, this, they do say so much, but it, it's that case of like, I'd say you can start with Cold Steel 3 still. Four, I don't know, I'm probably gonna say no on that. But I'd still say you can start with Cold Steel 3. But, it'll be that case of like, by the time you go around, you'll forget everything that's said because you'll, you'll just assume it's background information. Like, it, genuinely, it's like, this type of stuff really felt like background information to the world. Like, they throw around other things that haven't come up at all. And it's just background information. And I find that fascinating that it can work on both levels. Again, I credit Falcom's writing so much that the game can work on two levels at the same time. That's fantastic. It can work as just, oh, there's just background information no one needs to care about, but at the same time, it's like, oh yeah, that happened, we were there. That's just so good. Well done, Falcom. All of the remaining members have given small performances, but thanks to this birdcage, they're interspersed for the time being. Oh, most interesting. That's the case. Does it mean they have some connection to the SSS? See, again there, it's like there's enough information to piece that together, but background. Like, it just shows you! Risha Mao. Girl who was with him. I'm finding this fascinating. How much... Like, you know me, you guys, surely, at this point. You know how much I take in information and spot little things. Little things said. Like, I've still got Core in my head because of Rufus saying it. Core is right there. In my head. Constantly right now. Core. 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 And I forgot all this stuff? Weird! What else have I forgotten? Uh, Rishi Mao, that girl who was with him. Anyway, once we're ready, let's head to camp. Let's explain the situation and then head to Stargazer's Tower. Very well. Let's go. Alright, so I want to go view one scene. Let's go this way, actually. One scene before we end this part. But again, I just... Oh. Again. I, I love the... I love the fact I've played them out of order, so I can have this reaction of like, I know so much and they told me, and I forgot. Ah, oh, it's just, oh. I love it, I love it. Ah, yeah, because the guy has gone, you see. Kept checking in on him, kept checking in on him. I feel a presence. This isn't good. Governor General's guard is stronger than we thought. This may be a code 308. We need to call it to headquarters right away. Huh? Did anyone hear that? That's strange, I thought it... I uh, locked all the doors. What the? That was... A burglar, perhaps? Maybe, but something is really off here. Especially how they ran straight for the hidden passage. Highness, can we spare the time? Of course, we can't simply leave them to their own devices. Let's go after them. Sheesh, seems like we're heading into trouble. 
Reen and the others split up to search the Jiro front, but they could not find the man who fled. Mm, I can't believe we lost him. I sensed a presence, but considering how agile he was, he can't be a normal person. That being said, I don't think he's affiliated with the society. Yeah, there's no reason for a Jaeger Corps to be in Crossbell right now either. Anything seems they're trying to avoid being seen. So not the society and not a Jaeger. Yet they're skilled enough to run from us. Ooh, trouble dots. Your Highness, could it be? No tensions are running high along the border, but... Agents from the Republic. After they infiltrated their way into Crossbell, there's plants everywhere. <laughs> well, wild speculations are just that, you know. But if it's true, we can't handle this matter on our own. See, we can't ignore the society either. And we can't chase them both down. We'll have to leave one group to the others, right? Yeah, as you said. It's only speculation for now. Either way, we'd better let the army know. Ah, be sure you don't tell them about moi. A gentleman must keep his air of mystery, no? Well, there goes the serious mood we built up. <clears throat> In any event, this doesn't bode well. Let's finish up here and head to Stargazer's Tower. Indeed. Like, it, it's all too easy to assume it's, um... Calvert, though. It could easily be... LeBurl. I mean, I'd expect there to be LeBurl spies around somewhere, surely? Surely? I don't know, I don't know. If there are, I don't know where they'd be. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just weird that I know that now. It's very strange. But anyway, we're going to end this part here, and there's a few more things we need to go around and see around the place before we properly head off back to camp. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.